Hello everyone and welcome to the WWE SummerSlam 2024 predictions video. I have not seen a SummerSlam since 2021, I want to say, it was the last SummerSlam I watched. So it's been a while since I've seen a SummerSlam. I remember SummerSlam was always a big th deal for me as a, as a kid watching when I got to eventually start fully watching WWE pay-per-views live. SummerSlam was always a real big one for me. I'm like, oh my god, it's great SummerSlam. Because it was the last hurrah of my summer, you know? Because SummerSlam was always in August. It was always it was at the end of August, so it was my last big hurrah, last big event I had in summer break before I had to go back to school. So SummerSlam was always a big deal for me. Uh, but this time, uh, I don't have to worry about that. I don't have to worry about SummerSlam being my last big hurrah for my summer for quite some time now, uh, which is great because then it just becomes another pay-per-view for me. Um, and this time, it's at the beginning of August, which is so weird. Uh, we have seven matches to go through. Thank God for the Triple H era six or seven match cards. These are great. Please, God, don't add any more matches. So let's uh, let's kick it off. So we have Bailey defending the Women's Championship against Nia Jax. Nia Jax, of course, got this opportunity from winning the Queen of the Ring tournament. I have Bailey. Um, I don't see Nia Jax's women's champion uh i would keep the belt from bailey i think she's a much better name for it and also i don't think both of the winners of the queen slash king of the ring tournaments are winning and i've already got another person uh winning it's like money in the bank right both the briefcases don't get a successful cash in so both the tournament winners don't get a successful win so i've got bailey retaining Next up, we have Logan Paul defending the United States Championship against L.A. Knight. It's time. L.A. Knight should have won this belt freaking months ago. Why he didn't win this belt months ago, I, I don't understand. Um, he and Logan should have had this match a while ago, um, and they just have not done it. Um, which is probably also due to the fact Logan Paul's availability was probably not there for it, which, again, this is what happens when you put your belt on someone who is not a full-time wrestler. Uh, but L.A. Knight. He should have won a singles title freaking forever ago, and they have just been waiting and waiting and waiting to put a belt on him. Like, guys, eventually, you you gotta give him something. <laughs> you gotta give this man something to keep fans being like, okay, it's we can still be interested in his character and his and who he is, and WWE will listen to us, you know. So, LA Knight wins the U.S. title. Please change the belt because the current belt's all awful. Good God. Uh, we have Liv Morgan defending her Women's World Championship against Rhea Ripley. I think Rhea Ripley will win. Uh, Liv Morgan was a, in my opinion, probably just a uh, placeholder because Rhea Ripley probably was not supposed to lose the, lose the belt. There's no way in hell Rhea Ripley was going to lose that belt anytime soon. And because of her injury, had to drop it, give it to Liv Morgan. She keeps the belt warm while we wait for Rhea Ripley. Now, there is part of me that does think Liv could retain as to keep the whole Judgment Day dissension storyline going. Um, but we'll see. You know, maybe Dom turns on Rhea. We don't know. Oh, that could happen. Finn Balor could be uh, doing something with Liv to take over Judgment Day. I could see that too uh, and undermine Rhea and Damien. But I'm going to go with Rhea Ripley officially winning this. Next up, we have Sami Zayn defending the Intercontinental Championship against Braun Breaker. Uh, Braun Breaker, he should have won the belt at Money in the Bank. The report came out that the reason they didn't crown him at Money in the Bank was because they wanted his coronation to take place on a bigger venue. You don't do something like that. Not not every title change needs to happen at Big Four, okay? You can you can have a, pay, a title change happen at a lower pay-per-view like Money in the Bank, and it does not hurt anything you've had title changes on tv for god's sakes these past couple weeks you can do the intercontinental title changing hands at the money in the bank pay-per-view and even if you wanted to wait for SummerSlam to crown braun sammy Zayn beat him clean at money in the bank it wasn't even like he had to like roll him up or braun got himself dq'd or something because he was too vicious sammy Zayn just straight up beat him so it's like yeah you can just beat braun baker whenever he needs to now like what the hell are we doing <laughs> What are we doing here? Braun Breaker wins. God, you should have won it already. CM Punk versus Drew McIntyre with Seth Rollins as a special guest referee. I have Drew McIntyre. This man has been tortured by CM Punk this whole feud. You know, he, he got the, the world title taken from him. 
uh, Punk screwed him out of the world title at Wem at um, not Wembley. Uh, Punk screwed him out of the world title at uh, Clash of the Castle. And then he screwed him out of his Money in the Bank cash and Money in the Bank. So Drew finally gets something over CM Punk here, and we parlay into Punk versus Seth. So what I think is gonna happen is, and I saw this on Twitter, so I'm gonna give a shout out to the person who I saw this on Twitter. I can't remember their name, but this is something I saw on Twitter, and I'm like, that works perfectly. Which is, it's you take the SummerSlam Bret Hart and Undertaker match where Shawn Michaels was a special guest referee, and you just insert Drew McIntyre into Bret Hart. I know that'll break CM Punk's poor, fragile little heart. You insert CM Punk as Undertaker and Seth Rollins as Shawn Michaels, and it's the ending where Drew's gonna badmouth Seth. Seth's gonna go to hit Drew with like a chair or something, and he's gonna nail CM Punk instead, and then he's gonna be forced to count the one, two, three, and Drew wins, and then Punk's gonna get pissed at him, and I'll bar I'll go to Punk and Rollins. That's what I think is gonna happen, and I completely love that idea. So yeah, Drew McIntyre winning. Also, I hate CM Punk. We have Damian Priest defending the World Heavyweight Championship against Gunter. Gunter is going to squash and kill this man. It is time. Damian Priest's world title run has been a flop. It's been awful. Not anything to him. He is world title material. I firmly believe Damian Priest is world championship material. This is nothing on him. It is the booking. They have made his title reign so lackluster. I mean, well, his first title defense was against Jay Uso. <laughs> Jay Uso. And then he was put in the... Uh, uncomfortable position of fighting Drew McIntyre in Glasgow. That was never going to work well for him. And then at uh, Money in the Bank, he fought Seth Rollins. It was a good match, but then it was again overshadowed by the whole Drew McIntyre CM Punk thing. So there's that. And the most interesting part about Damian Priest is the thing with Finn Balor. It's not his actual title defense. You know, it's the whole Finn Balor's going to turn on him eventually thing. Which is probably what's going to happen. I can totally see Finn Balor costing Damien Priest here. And then that leads to Priest getting out of Judgment Day, going full babyface. And then him and Finn fighting at, uh, what's the next pay-per-view? Bash of Berlin, I think, is the next pay-per-view. I can see that. Uh, but Gunter, yes, he's winning the world title here. And this man holds it till at least WrestleMania. Maybe give him a whole year. Give him two years. Give him the Roman Reigns run. Who cares? Gunter's going to hold this belt for a freaking long time. And he, well, deserves it. And then the main event, Cody Rhodes versus Solo Sokoa for the Undisputed Championship. It's Cody Rhodes. Cody Rhodes is winning. And I firmly believe Roman Reigns will return and cost Solo Sokoa. And then we will finally get the whole OG Bloodline versus New Bloodline story. That's what I believe is going to happen here. Don't want to go too far into it because I might do a separate video talking about how I would do the Bloodline versus Bloodline thing. But I firmly believe Roman Reigns will return, cost Solo Sokoa. Cody Rhodes will win and he will take this and go into a feud with Randy Orton after. But there we go. That is my SummerSlam predictions. Let me know what you guys' uh, predictions are in the comments down below. And uh, I will see you all next time.